Hi guys, hope you are fine and doing well. So today we will be discussing this problem from the code forces round 792 which is Z mod X equal to C. So before moving on to the problem, in case you are new to this channel, you can consider subscribing it and pressing the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the upcoming updates. So let's move on to the problem. So the problem states that we are given three positive integers namely A, B and C. And we have to find three positive integers x, y, and z. And the condition is that x mod y should be equal to a and y mod z equal to b and z mod x equal to c. So the constraints of the problem are the total number of test cases in the worst case can be 10 to the power of 4, and a, b, and c in the worst case can be 10 to the power 8. So the constraints are pretty high. So this clearly indicates that we can solve this question in O of 1 time. So now let's have a look at some examples. So firstly, the conditions that are given to us in the question are x percent y should be a, y percent z should be b and z percent x should be c. So the first example that we are given is of 1, 3 and 4. So let's write it in the similar fashion. 1, 3 and 4. And this is how we are writing it in same manner like this. So firstly if we think of like fixing this C as Z. So Let's fix this 4 here. So 4 will automatically come here also. And if we also fix this 3. So we can now infer from these set of patterns is that this is a valid scenario. So if this is a valid scenario, then we are just required to guess this x. So in order to guess x, the first observation that we can make is that because 4% x should be equal to 4. So definitely this x should be greater than 4. So let's make this x as 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7. So now let's try to put 7 here. So if we see and put 7 here, so let's see if the conditions are satisfying. So 7% 3, it is giving us 1 and 4% 7 is also 4. So this is one example. So now let's try out this example, then the observation will be more clearer. 2, 7 and 8. So let's try it in the similar way. 2, 7, 8 and because the constraints are high so we should be focusing on to find patterns in, in these type of questions because logically if we try to think of them then it becomes somewhat difficult. So after we have written it in the same way so now we are required to guess this number so that it follows this condition because this will already be followed because one thing is clear to us that this x will be greater than 8. So if we put this x as 7 plus 8 which comes out to be 15. So let's try to substitute 15 here. So if we see 15 percent 7. So this gives us 1. But in this case, it was giving us right answer. So what optimization do we need to add here is that it should be 2. So we should add another 1 to the 15, which is basically B plus C plus A minus 
B plus C percent B. So this is the formula that is being derived here. So we did B plus C previously and we directly substituted it. But in this case, when it came out to be 15, so it was not giving us the preferred answer. It was giving us 1. So if we add 1 more to this 15, which is basically 16. So 16 percent 7 comes out to be 2. So hence this satisfies the these both conditions. So this is what this formula means. So this is the A required and the remainder that we got here is B plus C percent B. So this is what our X will be. So now let's have a look at the code. So here I took the input for A, B and C. So you can ignore these two lines as during the contest. I mistakenly didn't pay heed to that A is less than B is less than C. That is the reason I just sorted this. And after that, I have just declared X variable and put the formula here B plus C plus A minus B plus C percent B. And after that, I have just simply returned x, b and c which is basically x, y and z that we are required to output. So I hope you understood solution in this video and if you appreciate my work you can consider subscribing to my channel and giving thumbs up to this video. So let's meet in the next video till then bye bye.